Democracy is a pretty simple thing, right? But it has its flaws. Only the majority gets heard. Corporate interests might have a little too much power. When you are trying to do the right thing and uh, no one stops you, that's called uh, democracy. What is it? The, what do you think? To the, do you feel um, Yeah, the, the, or, No. I think, I think, I think. I believe. I believe. I believe. What do you think? To put us as second-class citizens in our country and put these other people, these alien colonizers, before us. It meets all regulations in Article 21, the right for government. And, you know, democracy it gives people a voice. It gives them the opportunity to vote for their own leader, to have the person that they feel accurately represents what they believe in. Continues. How do you imagine Britain looking? What is sort of your worst case scenario? Oppression of women. Yes. Um, child marriage. Are those things that you legitimately think could happen in Britain? Yes. Yes. I definitely believe that. A hundred percent. I believe it can happen here, and I think that's what their aim is. And that's what they the hatred just say their aim is. Yeah. We will dominate. The first thing that comes to mind when I hear democracy is power to the people. I personally don't feel democracy works. Uh, very well in Mexico. You have the opportunity to engage in the political system in a meaningful way. Let's say the United States or, or, uh, or Europe. But even though there, it doesn't really work. Eh? I think democracy is not the best like solution. It's not a drug which will help all pro like solve all problems. In every country, it's applicable. The democracy is very good for the people, and everyone should accept that. Fascism oppresses any conflicting view or any religion. Whereas in democracy, we are open, we in fact encourage people to speak their minds. You know, in a democracy, you ha are encouraged to speak your mind, to make peace, not wage war, because somebody has a different view to you. Everybody is ensured to have their own freedom of equality. <laughs> Police have come and they're filling in the gap between the two groups. Can you tell us why you're here today? Uh, in one word, solidarity. Don't want racism. Do you feel like the people on the Pegida side over there are racist? Mostly, yeah. And the other story in the week was the uh, one third of Muslims in this country think that it is okay to kill journalists who are exposing the truth about the sort of person Muhammad is. Demo organizers claim that the event was hijacked by right wing groups and skinheads who don't represent Pegida. Basically, some Nazis showed up and um, the anti Nazis who were here went along to uh, try and kick them out. And in the chaos, like people are bringing up old grudges and things. It's, it's, uh, it's nothing to do with the demo. It's only Ukraine that is prepared to talk straight. Balance and fairness. We are in a dangerously unstable world. It is one of the worst policies that you can think of. It's a perfect way to avoid corruption because the person voted for is obviously trusted by the majority of the population. <laughs> 